So um, we have a few uh, manuscript copies of works by Bruno, and this is a careful copy, as you can see, the edition Frankfurt 1614, Demonade, and the innumerable uh, worlds, the work that got uh, Bruno into tr trouble, well, not just this work, but uh, someone carefully copied it at a time when the works of Bruno were, of course, rare because they had been seized, confiscated, and, and, and there is a wonderful bibliography of the works, uh, extant copies of printed uh, works, and uh, any work by Bruno is rather uh, rare. So these manuscripts... Um, when they were produced, they were either act of devotion, because yes. people wanted to copy uh, the work of the master, or they were copied because uh, printed um, copies were rare, and this is a way to distribute them. But I believe this is just a, a work of devotion. Uh, the problem is the mm -hmm. ink was very aggressive, so it eats away yes. at the pages. Oh. Terrible. You know that um, paper before the 19th century... Just a technical detail was made of rags. And, yeah, oh, I didn't know. Pulped. Uh, the um, rags are pulped, and so it's, in a way, it's it's it can last forever, ages and ages, as you can see. But um, the ink uh, is very uh, corrosive, unfortunately. Yes. This work um, will need to um, carefully look at this one, for instance. Oh, we can see. Uh the, this diagram mm -hmm. here, absolutely wonderful. So this is the, the, the order of music here. Yeah. This is the uh, harmony of the spheres expressed. Mm -hmm. A diagram that I would normally uh, associate with Robert Flood. Yeah. yeah so uh, We've got Flood uh, out yeah. for you. <laughs> so would, was it Flood that uh, was inspired by Bruno or uh, here? Or well, I'm right? sure Francis Yates in Giordano yes, Bruno and yes. the Hermetic Tradition has Bruno something to say about it, but yes. da bin ich überfragt, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm afraid. 